I need you to be brave. A man will come and take you away. Hello there. I'm Sarah from 17 once again. This is Mission 18. This is Blackwater Park. And the first section is self-titled. So, I hated this mission my first time through. I thought this was perhaps the hardest, most difficult mission going. And the reason is, I went into it with the wrong disguise. If you go into it with the wrong disguise, you are fucked. It is so much more difficult than it needs to be. At the beginning, the reason I shot towards this area is to stop this guy going on his path. If you shoot that wall, it will enable you to dis to you know take him out, subdue him, steal his costume, and then you can continue stealthing your way through this early section. I'm telling you folks, this level when I first got here, I don't know if I was fatigued from just getting brutalized on this game, on this difficulty with the, the systems at play, but I just could not get anything going. And when I finally got inside the, the hotel or the building or whatever the hell it is, I could not for the life of me get on that lift. But on my recording run, this courtyard took I think three tries because I fucked up on some silly things. And the building itself took one try. One try! I think I was stuck there for a full hour on my first playthrough, just completely tearing my hair out and hating every moment of it, of something that is effectively like three or four minutes long, and I just couldn't do it, I couldn't figure it out. But the struggle that I had enabled me to walk in there with a pretty good knowledge of all the layout of that place, all the vents, all the costumes, all the NPCs to a degree, and it just it worked beautifully on my recording run. And I did not think I was going to be able to do this this level without being spotted and I completely proved myself wrong which was amazing and it just worked and it was great but once you're in this area when you move into this next room there is both the disguise we're going to be using an event but I believe in the locker room you can get this guy's disguise if you don't want to knock him out. I wasn't taking the chances because I couldn't remember if the disguise was a carpenter or whatever the hell these guys are these maintenance men but if you're wearing their clothing, you will have a much easier time throughout this hotel. I was trying to do it with a security guard outfit and it kind of takes the piss because there's so many guards. But I learnt from that lesson and I'm showing you a, a much stronger method of getting through. But once you climb out of here, do not rush to the checkpoint too quickly because there is a janitor that is in this next room. You'll see him just there. He caught me on my first time through this area. That's why it took me a couple tries. He's now going to stand with his face to the shelf, walk past him, and hit the checkpoint. Now you've hit the checkpoint, you do not have to do the garden again, and you are good to go for the rest of the level. This is where it gets a little bit more technical and more difficult, but... Oh, that's me fucking up hitting the checkpoint, because I'm a boss. <laughs> But just being able to walk around this place without everybody giving you those stupid reticles of doom. So liberating, it really is. The only places that are off limits are the police officers in this room. And this is the room you need to go in. But what I do is I put the film on in the room. Uh, you know, when you put the projector screen on to try and distract as many people as I can to get them out of the, the policeman's office so I can hit the override button. It actually doesn't work. But it does, you know... It does do something, because it distracts a bunch of people, it moves them from the, the traditional path, and I like to think it helped me get to the end of the level, but it's probably pointless, this. I was just experimenting, and this just happened to be the run that went the best. So, now that I've got that, I'm going to move into this room, move through the vent to completely skip the dude, even though I don't think I need to, because I think I'm allowed to walk around this area. I was just being super careful, guys, because like I say, I hate this mission when I first played it. It just kicked my ass, and here's me getting, you know, super secret agent when everybody's just like, yo dog, what the fuck are you doing? But, you know, it's easy to look back in retrospect at a game such as this, but when you're playing it, everything is life or death, everything is, you know, one mistake away from a checkpoint you do not want to see again. Like, this guy here probably won't have a single problem with me, but I'm treating him as if he's the devil. <laughs> and it's just how it works, and it looks cooler anyway, it looks like I'm full-on splinter selling it. But as soon as he walks away, like I say, you can probably do this with him watching, but I was treating it as if he was Kryptonite and I was Superman. So, there is the distraction. 
walking through here. This is me hoping that the police are going to leave the room so I can hop into it and press the button. But you'll notice it distracts everybody but the dudes in this room. <laughs> so I'm like, really, brothers? You're all still going to be in here? But no worry, because there is a break in this pattern where you can hit that computer. It's pretty tight and it doesn't look possible, but it, it does happen. You've got to be really cunning, though. And this is one of the things I figured out when I first did the mission, when I was really struggling. And the irony of this is there's probably a method much cleaner, much easier, much, you know, no stress involved to do this. I just didn't find it. This is what I found and it works. So wait for that guy on your left to turn to the left and this is your window. You'll notice that guy over there has super sensory. His, his senses are just amazing. There is the thing and as soon as you're outside that door you can now walk up to the lift and go up to the, the penthouse floors. You have no idea how happy I was with this run, guys. I hated this area completely hated it oh so liberating it really is like i was police officer disguised then i then i was running around as those dudes in the suits disguises those those parlor men it was a nightmare but do it like that and it's pretty simple and like i like i mentioned you can probably walk past some of those guys as long as you're not in the traitor zone and one way to tell if you are in a traitor zone or a, a place where you're not be, supposed to be sorry is if it's got the little warning icon at the bottom of the screen obviously if you're playing on harder difficulties you will not have the compliments of the hood so you can't use that but thanks for watching and you take care now